So I guess the water goes from this warp room down to the warp room below, and then it like freezes. And then whatever the warp room below that one is, I don't know. <laughs> This game's weird. Anyway, um, welcome back guys to Crash 2, and we only have one level in Warp Room 3 here to go. Road to Ruin. Now, like I said in the previous episode, you're meant to get the box gem in this level, you're meant to have to go in the secret entrance, but there's a sequence break, which I'm going to attempt to do anyway, where you can, um... Yeah, just that. And you see? <laughs> I can't believe I did it, like, perfect first try. I was just sitting here trying to do this. For, um, a while, and, um, I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> but it just magically worked. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's, it's a- I'm a wizard. Alright, let me try- Because <laughs> we're going backwards, the timing for these are weird. So, yeah, this, like, secret entrance path we're going down is not, like- Oh, shit. Oof, good thing I landed that. So, yeah, literally all you need to do is come back here to these boxes. And there's a TNT inside, so just set that off. Watch your box number go up incredibly high, and then just backtrack. It's a good thing I blew up those nitros, so I don't have to jump over them again. Now, if we can just make our way back... Easy peasy. So now all I need to do is get to the skull platform without dying, and we're good. You see, the problem with that is, like, I, I, I don't mind dying a couple times trying to get that, but the problem is, if you do die, even though you didn't get a checkpoint and you go back to the start of the level, the skull platform is still becomes um, inactive, so... Basically, if you want to get everything in, like, one flawless run, if you want to do that sequence break anyway, you need to, um... Well, yeah, not die, like, either not die during during your first time trying, trying to do the sequence break, or, um, just, you know, if you do die, you just have to, like, go out of the level and go back in. Here's our skull platform, so as soon as I get on this, I'm allowed to die again. Good, good stuff. Um, yeah, it's definitely not easy to do. It's really weird with the timing. I don't know, though. You know, I think about it though, it's the sequence break is the only way to, you know, get every all three items in one run in this level, because, um... You'd have to get the crystal... normally, otherwise, right? And, um... Because <laughs> you have to get the crystal to go to the next warp room, and without the sequence break, you need to go to the next warp room to get the box gem, so... Yeah, <laughs> if you want to get all three items in one flawless run, <laughs> uh, I suppose... Get good. <laughs> or... Just get really lucky, which I just did then. I don't really, like. I want to talk about it some more because it's just you have to be so exact when you're doing it. But by the way, this isn't that bad because you can hear when he's throwing the logs. Pretty easy. This part's pretty easy too. You just have to kind of wait. But you do tip off, which is kind of weird. So you just kind of have to tilt forward a bit. No problem though. There we go. <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, I just what I really oh jump over that. <laughs> Oh, good thing I had an Akko Akko. And there's our gem, so we can just get on this and go back. Oh, this is one of these. Yeah, it's, it's like one of those ones where I technically... Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna kill myself. How far back is this? Oh, yeah, this is... Nah, this is way far back. Just kill myself. That's the, literally the fastest way. I already went on the scale platform, so it's like, what does it matter, right? What does that matter? In fact, there was no boxes on the skull platform, just the gem. So as long as you get the gem, which is actually at the end this time, this time, unlike that sewer level. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, so anyway, let me just wrap up talking about that sequence break. Um, basically... Um, how I sort of figured out... Oh, shit, really? <laughs> I just beat into nothing because I camouflaged him with the background. Basically, like, I try to hug, like, the right side of the platform, and then just... Just don't stop walking and then just kind of jump and get on the rat and you know jump on the rat you have to jump on the rat at like the absolute perfect timing to get over there um <laughs> and even if it seems like you did it perfect um well, I guess that wasn't too long I suppose we could have backtracked that but yeah that would have just meant I'd have to go backwards again anyway so it's like what's the point just kill yourself kill yourself it'll save you time don't apply that logic to real life trust me it's a bad idea <laughs> Oh, there's another Aku Aku. I'll take that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying though, even with, like, even if you mastered it, like, I would want to say I've mastered it, it's just the timing is so, like, almost frame perfect. Like, it's not, like, you don't have to be frame perfect, but it's almost frame perfect. That, like, even if you know exactly what you're doing, you can still screw it up. So, I don't know how I'm... I, the only reason I'm yabbering on about this is because I don't know how the hell I did it in one try like that. I'm a bit stunned. You know, of all the things I'll... 
You know, all the times I screw up stuff while I'm recording, that is one thing I did not expect to go right. By the way, this bonus is stupid, you just like hit a bunch of things, but I love this bonus. In fact, it's not just this bonus, all the bonuses in these um, temple levels are like this. I love how it's like in the stage, like you can see, oh, screw you life, like the background of the level you're going to play during this bonus, it's really cool. Most bonuses, you know, are separate from the, um, the level, but this one is not, it just takes you over here. I guess, um... Ooh, do I finally get to talk about this? I've been holding off this fact since the start of the LP. But, um, basically, the engine Crash Bandicoot 2 uses is far superior to the one Crash Bandicoot 1 used. Um, they are able to have way more polygons rendered on screen than they were with the engine that Crash Bandicoot 1 used. So that's why, you know, Crash looks like way better and stuff. Like, Crash had... He had like barely any polygons, but now he has a lot more, <laughs> so he looks better. <laughs> oh, we're like at the end of the level. Cool. Die, you stupid thing. Oh, you have to slide those guys. <laughs> it's I, this, I'm pretty sure this is the first one of these levels, like the ruins levels we played, and it's like we see this enemy. I'm just yabbering on about this sequence break, like I'm gong best sequence break all time. Do want? And there's like all this other stuff. Like, nah, who cares about that? <laughs> but um, what was I talking about with graphics? Right, it's, I was gonna say, because these temple levels are actually pretty simple, like, you know, there isn't really any, like, like, barriers, it's just like a black abyss with a background, so, since it's not a really graphically intensive area, I suppose, when you load the bonus, it could also show the other area, because there's not much to load. Crash, my boy! You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather, and my... <coughs> Our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to fortune. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next one. Aw, oh, do you have to? So we completed this room, right? Yep, that's everything gotten. We didn't need to... <laughs> Technically, we did need to go to the next room, but I'm a stinky cheater, so I, we didn't have to. And let's fight the boss. Now, the boss is... Oh, yeah, this is a good boss, <laughs> actually. It's actually... Yeah, this is pretty fun. It's simple, but fun, because it's... One of those, like, reaction time things. Um, yeah, there's this tiny tiger here, who is basically a reoccurring Crash villain, really. But this is his first appearance here, I believe. Yeah, I definitely believe. <laughs> basically how you fight this guy is he just jumps after you and... Yeah, there we go. Platforms just glow red and you gotta make him jump on one. And then one, as soon as he fall starts, like, his falling animation, uh, a ton of other platforms will, um, you know, start flashing, so you have to make sure you get to, um, a green one. It's pretty easy until the last hit, where literally only one platform will remain, and only one platform will fall. And I guess I didn't, I didn't expect him to jump diagonally there, so he just ran into me. Ooh, 89 lives, we're doing pretty good. Hmm, you know, you only, it only takes one hit to kill you in Crash Bandicoot most of the time, because, you know, you don't have Aku Akus. It's just kind of funny, because... Something like, I don't know, like... Game... I'm, I'm just trying to think of how to say this. But game design does, like... Say like a game like, you know, Mega Man, where you can get hit a ton. Um, game design... Oh, shit. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> he almost jumped into me there. Yeah, you can't... If you miss him, there's not much you can do, really. Just sort of... He's like, jumped to me from here. Oh, shit, what? <laughs> this guy's giving me some problems. Um... Yeah, it's like in Mega Man, like, you know, like, stuff can hit you so much easier. Where in games like this in Mario, it's more like... It's a skill, like, not to get hit by any... I, ah, it's so... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's just... I suppose there's just more shit in Mega Man <laughs> to kill you. And it's easier to get hit. Yeah, there we go. So only two platforms remain, and if I can get him down again, there'll only be one, and you have to get to it really quick. It's actually kind of a luck-based thing, because it if it's right next to you, it's like no problem, but if, um, you know, it's like across the other side, you might not have enough time to, um, get to it. Alright, let's... Uh-oh, I'm cornered. Damn, I was hoping he'd fall down that one, but I guess the timing was just a bit off. <laughs> Same with that one. <laughs> Yeah, if we've only one falling, it's kind of hard to actually get him to, um... Ooh, there we go. No, oh, I could've just jumped at that one there! It didn't register in my brain to do that, though, because it just came back up, so I guess it didn't trigger a fall? Man, this boss is kicking my ass. 
Well, I mean, to be honest, I'd rather play this boss a ton of times rather than, um, you know, try that sequence break. <laughs> there we go, because this boss is actually fun. Well, not that that's not fun, it's just, you know, wading through loading screens is not fun because you have to, you know, out and quit and stuff. <laughs> Alright, Tiny Tiger, I've had enough of your tiny shenanigans. By the way, ironic name, he's not tiny at all. That's why he's called that. Lol, 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 so creative. <laughs> uh, back then, that was good enough, though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of characters have stupid names. Especially when they're translated from Japanese games, you know? But, um, I guess this isn't one of them, because this is not a Japanese game. This is an American game. Which is kind of funny. I really don't play any American games anymore, since I basically only stick to Nintendo stuff nowadays. Ooh, get over there. There we go. I told you I'd do it this time. Yeah, I mean, if they made a new Crash Bandicoot, I would, like, be, you know, so over that. But <laughs> I'd be like, where's that PS4? I need that PS4, right? Well, that's if it was on PS4. You know, it's been rumored that Sony's, like, buying it back for, like, ages now. And there was, like, a thing in, like, the, one of the PS4 trailers or some bullshit like that. And then they, like, keep posting Crash pictures on, um, their, um, like, Facebook and stuff, it's funny. It's kind of funny, they're like cock teasers. Alright, what one of these are we gonna do? Hanging out, digging it, cold card crash, ruination, and behaving. That's a Austin Powers joke. If I ever saw one. Now this warp room, okay. Can I just be real with you guys? This warp room sucks. <laughs> if this warp room was not in the game, the game would be a lot better. Why? Because most of the levels here suck. Like digging it here is terrible. This is the infamous level that has bullshit backtracking you need to do in it, and it's really annoying with all these bees and bullshit. What is hanging out? Um, that's not a plant level, isn't it? Let's just do this one, I think, because I think this is a relatively short level, so we should be able to do this one with no problems. Yeah, and you saw um that last level, um, behave. Oh, it's a pipe level. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we've. I think we've had enough river levels. We don't need any more of those. Oh, this is the level with the secret, um, exit in it, though, <laughs> that I thought was in the previous war room, but it's this one. Ah, uh, surprise, it was this war room. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Something about- oh, yeah, yeah, um, the color gem in Behaving. Um, yeah, no level actually uses that, and what- and no, I- well, technically one does, but the only level that uses the purple gem is the level that you need every gem for. Oh, that's all over here, right? Yeah, just drop down. There we go. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's not like an individual level here has it. Uh, did Crash, yeah, no, I don't think, no, Crash, I can't remember. Did Crash 1 have a thing where you need all gems for one thing? I don't think so. Crash 3 does, though, so it's like a sort of tr a tradition, you know, they had for two games, because <laughs> they only made this game and the other one, then the racing game, and then Activision took over. I mean, not Activision, um... It was Traveler's Tales that made Wrath of Cortex, right? I'm pretty sure. You know, Wrath of Cortex isn't that bad. I, I can't remember if I've talked about this or not in this LP yet, but it's alright. Like, it's definitely not as good as, like, this or Crash 3, but it's not, like, terrible. It's not like, Om Gom Crash is brewing, you know? It's still pretty decent. Uh, the one you really want to play, though, is Crash Twin Sanity. That's a fun game. It's really different, but it's still fun. That's, like, definitely the direction I would have wa wanted, like, Crash Bandicoot to take. But it was the only one that was made. After that, they just made, like, another racing game, even though the previous one before in uh, Twin Sanity was a racing game, so... Uh, yeah, can't have enough racing games, apparently. And then after that, like, you know, Activision got those shit... Oh, he got me, the bastard. <laughs> Activision got the rights, made two crappy Titans games. One must wonder why they didn't even bother to try a proper, um, platforming game. I think if you fall off this, you die, because that's, like, superheated pipe or whatever. Kind of funny, you're, like, in the sewer, and, like, below the sewer is, like hot stuff. That's kind of, um, random. It's like three layers. <laughs> Make that four layers. We have another drop here. We. Okay, this is what I was thinking of. See here, we get this checkpoint or whatever. Now, if you go back here, there's another drop. That's the drop that leads to the secret exit. So basically, if we want to get the secret exit, what we're going to have to do is just basically go through the level, get all the boxes, um, get the gem, then we're going to have to backtrack to here. Which, as I said, the last sewer level we played, uh, it's not really too far, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but still, I'd rather not have to. But at least it's not as bad as bloody digging it. I hate that level. It's like the worst level in any Crash game 
Guaranteed. <laughs> um, man, I actually think that might be true because I'm just trying to think, isn't there like some levels in Crash 1? I hate like that stupid one where the guys throw the barrels and you need to like dodge them. No, 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 that, oh, I know what one I hate in Crash 1, that stupid one where you have to like backtrack like five ways or some bullshit. I don't remember its name, but I think you needed the blue gem for it, or you got the blue gem or something? I don't know. Anyone who's seen my Crash 1 LP probably knows which level I'm talking about. It's that stupid... It's like the one that has Cortex's face on it when you enter it. I don't know. I wish I remembered its name. It's like a terrible level. Apparently that rat spike just touched me and I'm dead. Good luck. At least I don't have to do the bonus again. I mean, we, really, we basically lost like no progress because of that. I... Can these guys just die? Like, I'm, I'm basically confirming. You cannot jump in the middle of those guys. Even though it looks like you can, the hitbox is just too small. So you just gotta do this. Just die, rat. Please? Okay, you're dead. He's dead, everyone. False alarm, or non-false alarm. Ooh, that was a big... That was a big sound. I should probably be killing these guys now, since I have to backtrack. Just killing them would make it a bit easier. Uh, okay. Yeah, you kind of have to... Oh, shit, get up there. There's the gem, so again, I guess I could just kill myself to go back to the checkpoint since I got the gem now. That's kind of funny when you think about it. Um, if I killed myself now and went back to the checkpoint, I wouldn't actually have all the boxes, so I'd be finishing the level without getting all the boxes, but I already have the gem, so it's like you don't need the boxes. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, because, you know, Crash Run was nothing like that. You needed all the boxes, and you needed to finish the level with all the boxes. <laughs> but in this game, nope, I don't give a shit. Hello, Crash. <laughs> Alright, now this part's actually... <laughs> I'll always remember this part because as a kid, I did not know you can like... Well, I didn't... I knew you could do it, but I didn't know like you could do it here to dodge these guys. Basically, I didn't know you could press circle to like put your legs up and like dodge these guys because I didn't notice they were like lower than the other ones were in like, you know, the previous um, great climbing segment. So basically, what I did was I just like... Try... Like you have to... It's possible, but if you time it perfect, you can just get through these without having to, um, you know, do this at all. Let me try, just... Like, you see, it didn't look like I could, didn't it? He looked like that guy who was moving fast, which he was. But if you time it good, you can just zip through. And of course, if you manage to keep an Aku Aku, it's like no problem. Oh, this is... <laughs> I was thinking this was a secret to, um... That Ruins level. No, this is the second... Um, unique level. Totally fly. This is actually... It's not a bad level, there's just one part of it that really sucks. Apart from that one part, it's actually a pretty fun level, but I guess we'll get on around to that next time, because we have exhausted the time limit of this episode. Not that I have a time limit, I just said that to sound fancy. That's a <laughs> I always love these images, it's, it's like they try to pick- It's like me trying to pick um, images to put in the title card, they just like look for the stupidest pose that crashes in and they just- <laughs> Yep, that's great, put it in the picture. That's like, the picture's like for the previous level you played, by the way, if you didn't know that. Pretty sure, yeah. Doesn't look like it, does it? But it is. It's got, you can see like the, he's on the grate. And it looks like, the ground looks like one of those things from Tiny Tiger's level. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that picture. It's like weird. It's a bad Photoshop. Anyway, like I said, that's all for this time. So I'll see you guys next time for Totally Fly and we'll probably do some levels I don't like, so look forward to me raging, I guess. No. <laughs> they're not they're bad, like in the context of the game, but I can't really hate them too much. They're just a bit tedious to play. Um but yeah, for the third time now, thanks for watching, see you next time.